I'm actually going to keep it real, okay? When Lou changed his uh, channel name back to the original name that he had, I was intimidated. I'm going to tell you the truth, okay? I'm going to keep it real. No bullshit. <laughs> because I just remember in my mind, I'm like, this guy was getting a million views a week. Listen, see, you have to say something about me. Because a lot of people call me a narcissist. They feel that a lot of times I'm a very delusional person. This is None of this is true. I am very much in touch with reality. And as much as I hate Lou and I think he's a con man and a piece of human trash. I hate that guy, okay? I can't deny the fact that he was very successful on YouTube. He was getting a million views a week and he had over 80,000 subscriptions. Even at one time, I think he had over 85,000 subscriptions. I, I believe he was very close to 90,000 subscriptions at one time. The guy, the last I checked before he shut his channel down, he had something like over 73 million, right? Or 74 million views. I mean, he was on his way to going over 100 million views. And I remember thinking to myself, I mean, this whole behind the streets thing, I knew it wasn't going to catch on. I knew it wasn't going to catch on. But when he, but when he changed his name, Back to his original name, which I'm not going to say because I don't want to help promote that freaking Mama Luke. Because there are actually still people not subscribing to him, which which now leads me arriving to my point. Is that there's just something not right. How did this guy go from over 80,000 subscribers, almost 100 million views, averaging 1 million views per week? Now, I know a lot of people who are the Lou fans and they're going to say, oh, his channel is growing very quickly. No, it's not. No, it's not. Like, I actually don't think Lou will ever surpass me because I constantly get at least 10,000 plus views a day consistently. And, you know, Lou's only got like, I think he's got under 600,000 views. He doesn't even have a million. He's got a million views a week. Now, listen to me. If you were talking to me about the old Lou, the one that, that was rocking and rolling, had over 60, you know, excuse me, 60, 80,000, over 80,000 subscribers, getting over a million views a week. Oh, Lou would have passed me very quickly. <laughs> I would I would admit it to you. I'd be like, I'm finished. Lou's going to pass me like this. Huh? But this new Lou, who's only getting, I don't even know how many views he's getting. I don't know. It's not a million views a week. <laughs> I don't think it's a lot. And he only and he has other 6,000 subscribers. It, it just seems there's something rotten in Denmark. Where did all of his subscribers go? See, like, the thing is, the thing is that at first I said to myself, okay, I get it. The reason why he doesn't have a lot of subscribers is because nobody can find him. Nobody can find him with behind the streets. It made, it made sense to me. But the thing is, he's changed his name to his original channel name, and still no one is subscribing to him. I mean, come on. The, the dude's missing 80,000 subscribers. Okay, well, let's, you know, technically 75,000, right? Because he's got about 5,000 subscribers. But 75,000 subscribers. Where did you go? My subscribers, I want to know. It's got to be killing him. And I really think that that's why he he decided. I don't know if you remember. If you remember the last days of Lou's channel, before it got vaporized, right? The guy ripped apart Adam Aaron. He ripped him to shreds. He was, I'll never step into an AMC. He, he, remember, he walked into an AMC one time. He says, it's a, he says, it's a dying business model. He goes, it's dying. Okay. He destroyed Ape, ripped Ape apart. He made, I know, I actually got messages from people claiming they sold because of Lou. They're like, Lou convinced me this is a dying business model. It's a dying play. I want out. Everything sucks. Now, all of a sudden, Lou is pumping Ape. I'm going in heavy. I'm not just going in live. I'm going in heavy. We know, we know where Lou, actually things go heavy into Lou. Okay, he don't go in heavy. <laughs> okay, let's just leave it at that. The dark meat, okay? But the thing, <laughs> the thing is this, okay? Is that, don't you see that this is a sign of desperation? Don't you see that the guy's making a tremendous amount of AMC videos? He's making a tremendous amount of ape videos. Because the guy must be saying to himself when he shuts that photo off, he must be like, 
man, why did I shut that channel down? And that's another question. Why did he shut that channel down? So there's all this speculation going around. He sold his channel. If he sold his channel, anyone who had a brain would make him sign some sort of an agreement that he would not be able to use the same channel name, correct? Like, I mean, obviously, if someone bought his channel from him, right, he, he's not going to be able to use the same channel name. So we could throw that theory out, that he, that he sold his channel. Other people feel YouTube shut him down, either for copyright strikes or maybe whatever reason, you know, that he broke their code of conduct. That I believe. I believe that. I, listen, I'll say it's alleged that that happened because I can't prove it. But at least that makes sense. And he's doing a little sneaky, 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 sneaky. Because technically, if you look at his actual channel name, in terms of the link of his channel, it's not, you know, I'm not going to say the name. It's not his previous established name. It's behind the streets. So maybe he's playing a little sneaky, sneaky where YouTube did shut him down. But he's trying to, you know, he's trying to hide under the covers like he does with Tyrone and Jamal. You understand? So maybe that's what it is. Okay, but the thing is, he's hurting. He's, you know, he's used to hurting. <laughs> I like it raw, baby. Lou likes it raw. Lou, hashtag, Lou likes the glue. But what Lou does not like is not having his 80,000 subscribers or his million views a week. His views are weak. This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. This video is not legal advice. I'm not an attorney. This video and all my videos are for entertainment purposes only. Because I am the one and only greatest entertainer in the world. A father in the GMC, baby! Wow!